The CCP called Australia chewing gum stuck on China's shoe. It denigrated Australians because they called out China's cover-up of the COVID outbreak. It insulted Australia in long editorials nearly every day. And then Xi Jinping imposed tariffs on Australian imports from Bali to iron ore and coal. This was meant to scare Australia, a country that has a trade surplus with China. But that was not the case. Australia kept pushing the envelope. It warmed up to Taiwan. It strengthened the Quad. It weeded out Chinese influence from politics and from Australian universities. Australia did not stand down one bit. So the paranoid Xi Jinping carried on, hoping that one day Australia will kneel. But here's what actually happened. Australian barley is being shipped to other nations like India, easy peasy. Australian iron ore is being shipped off in the same direction. And Australian coal, you know that stuff with very high calorific value? Well, the whole world wants it. Meanwhile, China's steel industry is bust. Construction is bust. And worst of all, mass scale blackouts. Power cuts from the cold north to the hot south have gripped the communist nation, forcing it to stop manufacturing activity. Now, much of this has been going on for a year, but Xi Jinping is having his worst days in office and the cold winter is coming. He refused to give in before, but now he's quietly kneeling right before Scott Morrison. I guess Scott Morrison can finally say, kids, that's how we do it. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Siddharth and in this video, I will tell you how Xi Jinping is quietly kneeling before the Australian Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. Let's begin. The myth around Chinese President Xi Jinping's superiority stands busted. He has lost his biggest personal battle. We are talking about his battle with the Australian Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. Xi Jinping wanted to punish Morrison for speaking up against Chinese authoritarianism, so he decided to weaponize Australia's dependency on China for running its exports industry. China banned the import of many Australian commodities. The biggest and most contentious of those bans was, of course, the unofficial ban on Australian coal. However, Xi Jinping has gradually realized that China can't survive amid the lack of Australian coal. So the Chinese president has quietly kneeled before Morrison and has decided to buy Australian coal. As per Financial Times, China has begun unloading Australian coal consignments despite an unofficial ban on fossil fuel. Analysts believe that this sudden development underscores the seriousness of the electricity crisis in China. Nick Ristick, the lead dry cargo analyst at Braemar ACM Shipbroking, revealed that some Australian cargoes waiting outside Chinese ports had headed into Perth last month and that the draft changes were also observed. Energy research firm Kepler too disclosed that five vessels waiting offshore released 3,83,000 tons of Australian steam coal to China last month. According to Argus Media, Australia has shipped around 50 million tons of coal to China in 2018 and 2019. In 2020, the number of shipments went down probably on account of reduced economic activity during the coronavirus pandemic. However, since November 2020, the level of Australian coal exposed to China has been virtually zero. China's unofficial ban on Australian coal imports had hurt Australian coal shipments to China. China has come to terms with the harsh reality. It is perilously dependent on Australian coal. For the past year, China has been facing a severe electricity crisis. Last year, the adverse effects of rising coal prices in China were starkly visible during the winter months. Many Chinese cities went dark since December 2020 itself when lights went out and restrictions were imposed on the use of heating devices. This year, China's electricity crisis has gone up tremendously as a paranoid Xi Jinping continued the policy of blocking coal shipments from down under. Therefore, China had no option but to import coal from Australia. Make no mistake, Xi Jinping did try his best to diversify China's coal imports and cut off the Australian coal miners. China was ready to pay any price for coal for quite some time now. China's coal desperation had, in fact, spiked global coal prices to a record high. Yet, China wasn't able to diversify its coal imports and move away from the Australian economy. Ever since the Chinese power sector started facing a coal crisis, Chinese households and industries started facing frequent power cuts. Widespread power rationing in China's industrial power centers like Jiangsu Zhejiang and Guangdong has led to the downfall of the communist nation's exports industry. 
All sectors of the Chinese economy, from steel making to textiles and even aluminium manufacturing, have witnessed an unprecedented downfall. China's energy deficit is so bad that half of its regions missed the central energy consumption targets and are facing crumbling pressure to reduce power use. Till now, Xi Jinping was withstanding enormous pressure to somehow source sufficient coal supplies and produce electricity to keep China's factories running and households working. However, Xi Jinping seems to have given up his campaign against the Australian coal imports with approaching winters. It is October already, and the temperatures have started dropping in the northern region of China. When the winter season finally hits all parts of China, the level of power demand will go up suddenly as people will need heating devices to keep their houses and buildings warm. The Chinese power woes have already hit the household sector and the electricity generation deficit is no longer limited to industries. Xi Jinping fears a social revolution against the Chinese Communist Party if the country's households keep facing a power deficit. China was the one to get into economic warfare against Australia. However, coal proved too crucial a commodity for China to avoid. Therefore, Xi Jinping has finally kneeled before Scott Morrison. 